Hey guys, today we're going to talk about parallelogram linkages. Four bar linkages are a group of mechanisms that contain four connected beams. There are many different four bar linkages, but today we are going to talk about one type, the planar four bar linkage, which is also known as the parallelogram linkage. There are two main characteristics of the parallelogram linkage. First is that the four beams form a parallelogram, and that the beams on opposite sides are equal in length. Second is that when the parallelogram linkage is lifting something, it keeps that thing flat. Here's what I mean. Let's say I wanted to lift R2-D2 in this basket. However, I have to keep the basket flat as I'm lifting it, or else R2-D2 will fall out. As you can see, the parallelogram linkage mechanism keeps the basket flat as it lifts the basket, so R2-D2 does not fall out. This is the power of the parallelogram linkage. Many times, there are FLO missions that require the robot to move fragile objects, such as the lander touchdown mission in Into Orbit. Since this mechanism provides a flat platform while raising and lowering objects, it is perfect for those missions. Here are some ways I've used parallelogram linkages to complete missions. Now let's build this parallelogram linkage. Here are the pieces we'll need. First, let's start off with two 15 beams. Let's take two of these frictionless pins and insert them here and here. Next, let's take our five beam and put it on like this. Let's take a black pin and put it here. And then let's take this piece and attach it like this. Now let's take our large motor and put two of these pins here and here. Let's take our seven beam and attach it on like this. Now let's take our three by five L beam and put these pins here and here. Let's take a frictionless pin and attach it right here. Now let's take our 9 beam and put it on like this. Let's take 3 more of these pins and put them in these locations. And so now we can attach all of this together like that. And last, let's take our 6 axle and thread it through. Last, to finish this off, we can attach this 15 beam onto the frictionless pin right here while attaching the bottom part onto the axle. And so now, if you move the motor, it should work like this. When building your own parallelogram linkages, there are two things to keep in mind. First, make sure that the opposite beams are the same length, like in this picture. Second, connect the motor with only one of the long beams, like in this picture. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. See you next time!